Wheeling Plan Commission meeting for Thursday, July 14th, 2016. It's called to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Secretary, please take a roll. Mr. Dorban. I'm here. Mr. Saku. Here. Mr. Johnson. Here. Mr. Powers is here. Commissioner Sienas. Here. Mr. Zangara. Here. Chairman Rapato. Here. Ms. Jones, any changes to the agenda? Yes, uh, we revised the agenda today. We took off um, the Alondra Bakery off of consent, and that's been placed under item A of the items for review. Thank you. Consent of uh, citizen concerns and comments at this time. If there's anybody wishing to speak on items other than those that are on the docket, please come forward. Nope. Okay, great. Consent, uh, con <clears throat> consent items docket number SCBA 16 12, Richelieu Foods, 120 West Palatine Road, appearance approval of freestanding sign. Docket number SCBA 16 15, Lexington Commons. 1112 Scanlon Drive, appearance approval of a subdivision sign. Docket number SCBA 16-16, Wheeling Town Center, 351 West Dundee Road, appearance approval of development sign. And docket number SCBA 16-17, Neighborhood Auto Care, 84 McHenry Road, appearance approval of a wall sign. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Motion by uh, Commissioner Dorban, second by Commissioner Johnson. Mr. Secretary. Commissioner Dorban. Yes. Commissioner Johnson. Yes. Commissioner Saku. Yes. Commissioner Powers votes yes. Commissioner Sienas. Yes. Commissioner Zangaro. Yes. Chairman Rafato. Yes. Calling docket number SCBA items for review number seven. To calling docket number SCBA 16 14, Alondra Bakery, 63 North Wolf Road, appearance approval of a wall sign. Uh, Brooke, anything? I would invite the petitioner to come the forward. Petitioner. Good evening, sir. Could you give your name and business address? My, my name is Alicio Chavez. The address is 63 North Wolf Road. Great. Right, thank you very much. And if you can explain what you're going to be doing with this sign. Uh, um, yes, I was asked to remove the uh, existing sign. Mm -hmm. So we're having it removed. And then we applied to put just a small sign on the wall. Okay. As the picture shows. Great. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Commissioner Zangara. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> I would just want to put in there that, you know, taking down that sign, I know obviously there was probably going to be some kind of void or something in the fascia. I just want to make sure that, you know, it just doesn't get left <clears throat> with nothing repaired to it. So I'd like to see, see that, and I'd also like to see I, I, that fascia looks pretty damaged. So if we're going to do something, Besides a new sign, maybe just put do a new fascia band and be done. Just uh, that might be an old picture because uh, the fascia has been redone. Okay, well, I just want to make sure that when that sign comes down, I think that sign might be right on on there. Just to make sure that whatever comes out that it's it's replaced and repaired correctly. That's all. This picture was taken about a week ago. Okay, that looks pretty. If that's new. Whoever did that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> do, do good of a job. we're having issues with the, the people that did the fascia. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. okay. Or the, I don't know the name of that. Is oh, that the soft fit or the fascia? I'm sorry. That's, that's the fascia. The fascia. Soft underneath. Okay, the yeah. fascia, yes. <laughs> Thank you. I always get them confused. I think of fascia as face. Like the face. Okay. Yeah, that's what I. Makes sense. That's how I always remember it. So you're asking me to. Well, as long as you work with him, I, I really think you should get him back out there to fix that because it looks pretty uh, banged up for just being. Okay. But then when that sign comes down, whatever, you know, I would wait to do that fascia. Whenever that sign comes down, there's probably electrical or something that's going through that fascia or something. No, isn't that coming through the bottom? Is the pole, know, pole mount? I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just. <clears throat> it's a freestanding pole. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. It's a freestanding. Okay. Uh, that's why I'm a little confused. Okay. Okay. So I see what you're saying. Okay. But then the sign comes down. Just, just that fascia just looks really beat up, and I would, I'd work on that guy to come back out there because that shouldn't be. I mean, he should be responsible yeah. for that. Sometimes the problem is when they're already paid, it's harder to get them back out there. <laughs> but I'm working on it. Well, try your best. Yeah. Uh, that's all I have. Commissioner Sienis. <clears throat> 
So is what's shown on the next picture, is it going to be Alondra Bakery number two? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, what, have you ever thought about putting like NO2 instead of the, the pound symbol? Um, I'm be honest, I'm just a landlord. My tenant is the one that's deciding the sign. But if, if you think, I agree with you, I think that would look a lot nicer than that. I, I think so. Okay. And that would be my only comment. Thank you. Commissioner Dorban? Well, I mean, it seems like that they've gone to a lot of work to replace this sign. I'm, I'm surprised they weren't even a little more creative. Yes, I agree. I mean, you know, you know I, I, I like to put effort in, I, I own businesses myself, and I like to put effort in my signs, and I think they look much nicer than this. Yeah, I refer I, to him, uh, the people I work with, and, you know, he hired someone else. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I, I think there could have been a little more creativity to this sign, so I'm, I'm not impressed. Um, yeah. Ma'am, are you, t you also concerned about the sign, I mean, the thing before the two, or just well, the whole sign in it, general? It, it's just, it's just straight letters. It just seems to have no, it's, there's no interest to it. There's no imagination. There, it just seems to me that, you know, they could come up with something a little more interesting. Uh, I mean, we, we can't obviously tell you what kind of text to put in there, but we can suggest that you be a little more creative and I think their main concern was the space that they they were you know that they can work with right versus the standing sign we, you know they were trying to do something much different than that but just it's so it's just about I don't know maybe a few inches I don't think it's even a foot I mean it's also no it might be a foot I don't well, know it says what 18 I can't 18 see 18 inches I think it is 18 it says 18 but yeah. I I don't know. It just seems to me that there could have been, it, they've gone to a lot of trouble to replace the sign. It just seems to me that there could have been something much more interesting done than just those block letters and then none, the number sign and then two. Let's right. wait for somebody else to see if they come up with something. Commissioner Powers. Um, I... I don't like the uh, the number the pound sign in two. I almost I looked at the sign. It's in Palatine, and it just says Alondra Bakery. So I'd I'd rather not even have the number two. I although I think the NO is a, is kind of a is is maybe not bad, but uh, I I don't think I'm in favor of the number two at all. I, I agree with you. I mean I have a few locations, and if I show you the signs, I have no numbers. I mean I think the numbers is just the old. Style, fashion, Mexicans are used to putting numbers. Used to, <laughs> I mean, not Mexican, but that's why. Yeah. But it's I don't know what's what's with the put, numbers. You know, I you'll know. see stores with the number put, eighteen. No, I mean, look, that 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 might look even worse. No two, right? Yeah, no, two. Right. <laughs> no just, two, right? No two, right? That kind of sends a bad message. I don't know. I, I mean, I I'll talk to him and I'll try to get rid of the whole number two. I'll show him my my signs and I have no numbers. I mean, maybe even a different font. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and that's really the space you have to work with. I mean, there, there's no way that you, because I, I, I don't know, I'm not a, a sign person. There's no way you can make those fonts bigger and, like, just stick up or put a, put a box there or anything like that. Can like we? A bigger sign? I don't know. What is that? The square I mean, footage and stuff like that. Square footage Can there? they get bigger? Uh, they could go up to 30 square feet. Um, you know what, let me check the staff report. Excuse me, one moment. Because it's so wide, I think they were very limited to the... Brooke, wouldn't they get a, get a extra size if they put some kind of a design or a... Correct, if they yeah. incorporate a uh, an image, some kind yeah. of graphic element, they get a up to a 50% bonus. Yeah. Okay. So they could go considerably larger. Okay. Something to write on? You need something right now? Yes. I've got a piece of paper for you, sir. Okay, so no, the fine. right now the the unit has a frontage of thirty feet. Yes. So the maximum allowed size is thirty square feet if they only have text. If they use some type of image, 
in their sign, some type of graphic, then they could go up to 45 square feet. I think, okay, I think that'll help a lot. Okay. It's probably, it'll definitely be more money, but um, I think it'll be nice. worth it. Yeah, that's my comment, thank you. Mr. Saku. Thank you, um, yeah, I kind of, I share the same uh, sentiment. I just don't like, whether it's NO or the pound sign, I just don't think a number needs to be there. It doesn't make, I was confused when I saw it. Um, if I'm a customer, does that mean I can't go to number two? I have to go to number one first to make sure they have the inventory. No, I'm, I'm kidding, but um, work your way up. <laughs> uh, I'd like to see people, um, you know, make it a Londra bakery wheeling number one in their heart and go here first. So, so I don't like the number. Um, I also uh, agree that the. I don't think it's very imaginative. I think it's. I'm, I'm tired of seeing red signs everywhere. But uh, you know, if there if there is a consensus that maybe. We ask they re revisit that. I would agree with that. Um, that's all I have. Commissioner Johnson. I agree with uh, what the other commissioners have said. <clears throat> I'd like to see the number two dropped off of there completely. And if they can get more creative, that'd be great. Uh, Brooke, are they allowed to go above the roof line? No. Okay. It needs to stay on the face, on the wall. Okay, but you so get more this way. <clears throat> yes. They, yeah, so they are constrained in terms of yeah. the height of the lettering and the height I, I of the sign. I thought that was the yeah. case. So. so it might have to all be uppercase to see that, right? So, yeah, so we have to stay within that 18 inches, correct? Right. So the only thing, as far as images, we can just go to the sides, basically. Yep. Yes. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, That's all I have. So I, um, w what happens when you remove that cleaner sign? What happens to the, um, the pavement? Are you just going to fill it in with asphalt? Um, my contractor mentioned that the city wants me to repair the parking lot. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm waiting for the sign to go before I have the pavers come in there. So that when they do the whole, th you know, all the, the patching, yeah, um, they're going to be cutting, I think it's four by four or three by something like that. I, I don't know the numbers. Okay. They're going to be taking care of it. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Okay. I just wanted to make sure about that. And... Um, I feel the same way about the number two. So if you can talk to the, uh, the tenant. Um, yeah. I, I don't think that would be a problem because, I mean, I agree with all of you. The, so those do you numbers think are he not. might be in the mood to add a, uh, a feature to give him more signage? I mean, he'd be dumb not to. So I think so. So can we uh, table it? You can table this or... You can approve it, removing the number two, and that gives, if you're all in agreement. Now, I think, I, I think, um, I'm sorry, your, your name again? Elicio Chavez. Mr. Chavez has indicated that um, he will go back to the tenant to see if he wants to uh, change that and be a little bit more okay. creative. So uh, okay. we will table this and... Um, if you come back with something more that is agreeable, that we remove the uh, number two, um, it could go on to the consent agenda and you wouldn't have to even show up. Okay, so if, if I agree to remove the number two and my tenants, that's all he wants to do, he doesn't want to change anything else, would that be approved or no? Uh, at the next one, uh, we would probably take a vote on it, but uh, I'm... I, I can't say because I'm only one vote, but it, anyway, uh, we can vote today because I mean without just leaving it as it is without the number two. Correct. Um, I can make a motion to see if anybody wants to uh, vote on it. Okay. Okay. And is that is that your yeah, desire? Yeah. I mean, you know, in honesty, sure. I'm trying to get this. You know, I'm trying to give them the keys so I can right. start getting rent because yeah. it's mm -hmm. been very very long time and we're you know it's hard on us right now well can't they so, do business even though the sign isn't done i i wish i mean i was told i'm having conflicts i don't know if it's uh, the city of willing or it's my contractors but you know i'm getting bombarded with extra stuff and one one thing i was told is the pavement which now i know is true the other one was that i have to remove that sign the you know that I have I mean it's just a lot of issues and they said the sign had to be there in order for us 
you know, to get the occupancy. Can't we know. give them a temporary sign? Sure. Until they can yeah, get their permanent Absolutely. sign, and then he could have go into have business, or no? They can have a temporary sign. Absolutely, yeah. yes. So they can they can start business. I mean, obviously, once they get all the permits, but they will be able to start business even the, if the sign is not up there yet. Yes, yeah. businesses do that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I've done everywhere else. It's just my contract. I don't know what's going on over here. You know. Yeah. Yeah, because we do temporary. Yeah. I don't think a sign is dependent upon occupancy. And that that huge sign, I was required to move it. Yes. Take it out. Okay. Is I mean be. Even though it's already there, it's but you like look at the sign though. It, it, that sign is kind of if you if you leave that there, doesn't it block the sign that you're going to put on the building? The sign is not conforming. They're not allowed to modify oh, right. it without a variation. Very right. It's all been discussed. So can yeah. we make a motion? Okay. I'll make a motion to uh, approve the sign without the number two. Second, we have a motion to approve. Um, uh, Docket number SCBA 16-14 with the condition of removing the number two. Right. We have a motion and a second motion by Commissioner Dorban, second by Commissioner Isaku. Mr. Secretary. Commissioner Dorban. No. Uh, Commissioner Isaku. Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. Mr. Powers votes no. Commissioner Sienas. Yes. Commissioner Zangara. Yes. Chairman Rafato. Yes. Five two. You have your sign, sir. Thank you very much. Is that it for me? Pardon? Is that it for me? That's it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been to one of these. Appreciate you. No, thank you. Quite all right. If you'd like to wait one moment, I will give you a signed copy of this um, <clears throat> approval. If you could come up here, we'll have something for you to sign. Just sign this one. That one, and you can have that one. That's for you. Thank you. you you're done. <coughs> Calling docket number 2016 13 A and B, Cafe Zupas. 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 Uh, 1590 Lake Cook Road, two, um, <coughs> 2016 13 A, Title 19 zoning variation to reduce the parking required for a restaurant. 2016 13 B, uh, special use site plan approval to establish a sit-down restaurant, Mr. Secretary. Here we go. Docket number 2016, there's 13A and B, Cafe Zupas contract tenant is seeking the following for the property at 1590 Lake Cook Road, which is zone B1, Plan Shopping Center District, in order to establish a restaurant at the existing commercial building, 2016-13A, variation from Title 19 zoning of the Wheeling Municipal Code, Chapter 19.11, General Development Standards, Section 19.11.010, off-street parking and loading, Section E, Parking Standards, Subsection 1, Minimum Required Parking per Land Use Category and Associated Sections to Reduce the Required Parking for a Sit-Down Restaurant and 2016-13B special use site plan approval as required under Title 19, Zoning of the Wheeling Municipal Code, Chapter 19-06, Commercial Districts, Chapter 19-10, Use Regulations, Chapter 19-12, Site Plan Approval Requirements and Associated Sections in order to establish a sit-down restaurant in the existing commercial building. Standards for a variation. A zoning variation is intended to be a method of adjustment to equalize regulations where Title 19 of the Village of Wheeling zoning has created an unnecessary hardship. 
A variation is designed to allow affected property owners the same rights and privileges that others enjoy in the same zoning district. In order to be granted a variation, a petitioner is required to demonstrate through to testimony to the Planning Commission at the public hearing why their request meets the conditions of the Village Code, including, but not limited to, how their individual situation is unique or unusual. Prior to the public hearing, the petitioner provides written statements meant to show that the request for variation meets the standards established in Title 19. The Commission Chairperson will typically direct that these statements be entered into the record without a full reading of them at the hearing. Based upon the testimony and supporting materials submitted, the Plan Commission will make findings in support of or against the petitioner's testimony and report those findings to the Village Board. Standards for a special use. A zoning special use is defined in Title 19 of the Village of Wheeling Zoning as use of a parcel of land that requires review and consideration before approval due to circumstances or effects on the surrounding properties that may adversely affect them. In order to be considered for a special use, the petitioner is required to demonstrate through testimony to the Planning Commission at the public hearing why their request meets the conditions of the Village Code, including but not limited to how the proposed use will not damage the enjoyment or use of the surrounding properties. Prior to the public hearing, the petitioner provides written statements meant to show that the request for a special use meets the standards established in Title 19. The Commission Chairperson will typically direct that these statements be entered into the record without a full reading of them at the hearing. Based upon the testimony and supporting materials submitted, the Planning Commission will make findings in support of or against the petitioner's testimony and report those findings to the Village Board. Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Ms. Jones, anything else? Yes, you would like to I'd like add? to give an update um, regarding the parking variation. I realized just today that I overlooked um, a portion of the, the zoning code which relates to shared parking in a parking uh, shopping center. And due to the size of the property uh, between 40,000 square feet and 60,000 square feet, um, there is a 15% parking reduction granted to this any use within a shopping center. And so I've revised the figures for the parking requirement for Cafe Zupas, and the new parking variation request is now only 11 spaces. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Anything else? That is all. Okay, great. Good evening, sir. If you could state your name and <coughs> business address. Uh, sure, my name is Edgar Separitas, and the business address for Cafe Zupas is a 460 Universal Circle in Sandy, Utah. Great. And obviously you're going to be the only person speaking on this matter tonight. <laughs> I feel outnumbered. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. So if you could please raise your right hand. Do you swear the testimony you give tonight to be the truth? I do. Thank you very much. The floor is yours. If you can explain uh, what you plan on doing with this building and the concept that you have. Sure. Um, if you can move that microphone a little bit in front of you, so we can, so you can hear. So I don't know if it's too loud or. I can no. Just... Well, we have. There's oh, actually. Sure. It, this is televised. Right. So, Understood. So it wants to hear what is going to go on there. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Um, Cafe Zupas is a soup salad sandwich uh, fast casual restaurant. Um, based in Sandy, Utah. We have uh, 36 restaurants currently open. Um, we, Minnesota, uh, most of our restaurants are in Utah, um, uh, Nevada, Arizona, and Idaho. We've just entered Utah in 2015, and we will enter, or sorry, Minnesota in 2015, we'll enter Chicago in 2016. Uh, the two restaurants that we plan to open in Chicago will be Wheeling and Schaumburg. Um, the concept is really how it differentiates from a similar uh, uses like uh, corner bakery or Panera Bread is that everything is actually made in the restaurant uh, in-house every day. The soups are made from scratch in the restaurant rather than from a commissary and brought in and, and just heated up. The vegetables come in as whole vegetables and are, and are chopped um, in the restaurant. So dressings are made from scratch in the restaurant. So uh, there's no commissary. We're trying to really promote uh, made in-house, made fresh. Um, and, you know, to date we've uh, really been received very well in our existing markets as well as our new markets. Um, we're excited about coming to Chicago, we're excited about coming to Wheeling, um, and 
with this specific location, it's a former Fifth Third Bank. It's roughly 4,100 4, feet. Um, uh, this restaurant will have uh, uh, currently, you know, we're looking at 114 seats. Um, we've worked, I think the, the presentation might say 118, um, working with, the, with Beverly and the Health Department and kind of some of the questions she had. We've made some slight modifications and until we have the final drawings, uh, you know, that number's a little bit in flux, but certainly won't be more than the 118, but uh, it'll, in all likelihood it'll be reduced. Um, the other kind of differences from our restaurants, if you look at the, uh, the layout, we have two large openings um, behind the line. One of them, and they both have glass uh, windows, essentially. They, what, the first one looks into the cooler where we really present the vegetables and the, and the uh, fruit um, in a market type of, of presentation, again, to accentuate, to, to communicate the, the made in-house and made fresh and, and the fresh vegetables, fresh uh, product. The second large window is, is further down the line, and that looks into the kitchen where we have our chefs and their chef coats actually you know, making the, the soups and, and, again, highlighting that we are making everything in-house, um, really trying to communicate to the guests and the community that you know, this is not uh, coming from a commissary. These aren't pre-portioned, pre-packaged uh, meals. Everything's going to be made fresh for you. Um, with this property, because it's a bank, um, Obviously, at the drive-through canopy, which we are proposing to tear down, in that space we will uh, add parking stalls. Uh, I think it's 22, uh, in, um, in addition to the 32 that are on the site. The center, the site itself, sits in the Schwind Crossing Shopping Center. Um, it is somewhat um, separated with some curbing for the bank, um, but it does have cross access or e with the shopping center and shared parking. Um, and as Brooke mentioned that, uh, you know, the parking spaces have been allocated over the development of the center, despite being on the parcel, you know, for the center as a whole. Um, we will add the 20, right now, it's, I think it's 22 that we're adding right now, but I think based on some fire comments, and Brooke, I don't know if you got the answers, we're probably going to take a couple out for, uh, from the fire department's comments on the radius of the, of the fire trucks. Um, from a physical plant standpoint, we're proposing on taking off a little bit of the rounded fifth third branding to square off the top uh, and add some of our kind of branding elements um, to the front um, and some awnings to the building. Again, we want to present our brand. You know, we don't want it to be the, oh, they're in the old fifth third building. <laughs> um, so that's, this is what our typical restaurants would look like um, in other markets where we, where we have freestanding <coughs> opportunities. Um, Again, with the change of the, with the change for the bank, the parking requirements are certainly more significant for a restaurant than a bank, um, and that's why we're asking for the the parking variation. Um, ironically, you know, we can satisfy the parking if we were standalone parcel on the par on the parcel itself with where the parking spaces we've added. Um, but again, it's a shared relationship with the shopping center, so I know that it's kind of common parking for everybody. Um, and uh, in the special use, I think um, we are conforming use within the zoning requirement or within the zoning uh, code, um, but it requires, it's a permitted use based on a, a special use um, or request. Anything else? Um, like to add? No, unless there's questions. We, of course, have questions. Oh, first time it's ever <laughs> happened. <laughs> it actually is. So we'll start with Commissioner Johnson. Thank you. Actually, the questions are very few. It's a very attractive building. I'd, I'd like to see this happen. Um, <clears throat> in your comments, you mentioned that uh, the seat count is 114, which is what I came up with. So, Brooke, I presume that takes another parking space off the... Yeah, that would reduce the parking reduction to... Uh, the parking variation to only 10. Okay, but, so we're getting there. Yeah, that being, that being <laughs> said, you know, again, we're, this is a preliminary drawing. You know, we haven't done a, uh, we've gone and done field measurements, but it's, it's difficult to, to invest the $30,000 to do a full drawings. So, but I don't expect the, the C count to go up, um, but it may go down by one or two. Um. In some of the existing photos, there's a bike rack that's 
I think where you're showing the patio, are you maintaining that bike rack or? We can relocate it. Because um, we, we will need to see a bike sure. rack somewhere. Okay, that, that's not a problem. We, uh, based on where the doors were, the patio made the most sense on this side of the building. And um, if there's a requirement to relocate the bike rack, we're happy to do that. Well, it's not so, a question of relocating. It's a question of having it. Having it, yeah. It's a question of okay. having it. All right. Yes. We'll, we'll make sure. Obviously, yeah, you're going to have to relocate it. All right. Obviously, yeah. And it looks like the other kitty corner from there, you've got a lot of room for that. So um, that's all I have at this time. Great. Thank you. Commissioner Saku. Thank you. Um, I agree. I'm, I'm excited about this. It looks very nice. Uh, just curious when you take off obviously when uh, the drive-through comes down there's going to be some work to that to the wall and to you know have new windows but it looks like in the picture that the windows throughout the building have to be changed and replaced based on this is that is that correct or um, we, one, we haven't determined definitively if we're going to go all the way to the ground with those windows we okay. may just uh, keep the windows as they sit we certainly will fill in the window in the back and, and patch it in with uh, Brick to match, as well as repairing all the damage, obviously to the uh, um, brick or parking lot behind, and, uh, and and repave that before we restipe it. Okay. Um, and this may be just a question for my fellow commissioners or or staff. Um, there is some landscaping features in the in the current um, the, the way the the bank is done. I'm just not sure. Do we is that something that we um, Review at a later time, or how, how does that work? That should be reviewed with the special use uh, site plan and appearance review. Um, yes, there is existing landscaping, and let me bring up some of the existing photos to illustrate that. Um, I did investigate the approved uh, landscape plan for the Fifth Third Bank, and it was not detailed with regard to the foundation plantings. So the, the plants that are shown in front of the windows here include knockout roses, some decorative grasses, and some other types of bushes. Um, they're not on the plans, so I would not suggest that, it, that you approve this with the, as the fifth third plan was approved. However, I think these plants are viable. They look healthy. They just need to be trimmed up. And so if you are in agreement with what is existing, I would just uh, suggest approving it and with the condition that the existing landscaping be um, cleaned up. Thank you. Um, and, you know, I don't want to, I, I often use this Forum is a classroom, and I want to ask about the stalls, but I'll just I'll let the other commissioners go for now. Thank oh, you. That's all right. Yeah, ask well, away. I just I was here for it. I'm just can um, I was trying to read through and understand, and I I, I understand now that we have um, the variation has gone down because of some changes. Um, so when the the drive through goes away and they add additional spaces, and then I'm looking at the um, one more. There's the yeah. So there's. 67 in total that's including some shared spaces right and so I'm just not sure how we we get down to um, the deficit when I think the number that we had was like 55 minus the 12 for employees so I just wasn't sure how we got to a deficit in the first place okay so the required parking was determined is determined based upon the uh, seating the indoor and outdoor seating plus employees and that number was figured at 55. However, if you factor in the 15% reduction for our shopping centers, we're down to 47. Um, this space, this bank, former bank building, was allocated 17 parking spaces. So the difference between, okay, plus they added in 19 additional spaces. Um, these are all the spaces up here minus space number 42 and 43. Mm -hmm. So they've, so we started with 17, we're allocated to the bank, plus 19, that's 36. So if they are required 40, Seven. 47, right. and they have, 
and I just lost. 36. So yeah, all those, 36, sorry. I, I, I get, yeah. of 11. So all the ones on the, on the bottom here of, of this screen, those are all shared spaces for the plaza? Yes, yes. all this parking throughout Schwind is shared. So I would not say this is an accurate assessment of all the spaces allocated to right. the fifth third parcel or to Zupa's. Uh, however, these bolded um, parking stalls are the, the new The spaces. new ones, okay, that was the source of my confusion. Yeah. That's, thank you, Brooke. That's it, thank you. Mine too, when we did it originally. <laughs> what do you mean, we're, we're, we meet it? Well, we have plenty. <laughs> we have plenty yeah, Mr. Powers. Um, I just want to thank you for taking out the drive through lanes and putting the parking in. That's, uh, that's, that's important. That's, that's an expense, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it look real nice, and the, uh, the building itself is, is going to look real nice, too. Um, the only question I had was, Brooke, can you sh show on this diagram here, where was the, the one-way traffic? Was it on the north side of the building? Is that where they were talking about? Um, the east side. The of the east building. side. Right here. No, oh, that's, that's on, our, on, our, that's on the down. bottom, on the oh, east by, side, by 17, 18, 19, down on no. that side, down the, that, where there was no parking spaces, by 59 through 67. Yeah. Oh, here yeah. we right go. Oh, okay. Okay. And the only other thing I have is um, the the I'm glad you have an outside patio. I think that'll be a nice feature. Um, the only thing is the railing. We've had other businesses in the area uh, just. Get, you know, get a railing in similar to what we put in other establishments, and I think staff can, you know, walk you through what what they got and okay. put something similar would be great. All right, and I'll show Brooke what we've done, and, and we're happy to consider alternatives, but, you know, we want a first-class railing, too. We don't want something that's going to rust in the weather, and we have units in, in certainly in cold weather climates, so we, we want the right, we're going to spend well over a million dollars to build this restaurant. We, we're not going to go cheap on the railings because that's the first thing you see when you're outside. So we, we're, I think, in agreement on a nice yeah, presentation. Just, it's nice, clean building, and it's, it's a good use, and uh, can't wait to see it happen. So right. thank, thank you. you. Commissioner Dorban. Thank you. Um, first of all, I'm kind of sad to see that you're not going to be open on Sundays. We have one other similar uh, restaurant that also isn't open on Sunday, and that's always been, I've always felt badly that so that seems to be the day that I'm always looking for something. Sure. So I'm sad to see that, but I understand it. Um, the parking issue I don't think is going to be a problem. I think it's going to be self-regulating. Most of those businesses in there are in and out businesses. Um, you know, you've got staples there and people are in and out of there. So that's not an issue for parking over, for people to walk over, if, even if it is busy on the, you know, the only time I see it ever really, really busy is really hot night when everybody's <laughs> over at Froyo. So, um, so I don't have a problem with that. Um, I, I think it's a great use for the building. I think it's going to be a welcome addition. I did go on your website to see your offerings. Um, I think that the menu looks great. Um, I just am curious because I, all the soups looked really, really good to me. Are you just going to have like two or three of them? No, they, we have the, the 12 soups every day. Really? Um, and there's periods of time when we have uh, limited time offers and we do kind of a world tour where we we'll, might do an Italian uh, uh, wedding soup or a Irish stew that might be in for a few weeks. And so, you know, to try to, something to try to, you know, increase frequency to restaurants like all restaurant tours do. You want to, you know, after a while, you want to, you need to, you know, do something different and add something to, you know. Make well, certainly it. your soups look great. Your sandwiches are very interesting, and I'll, I think it'll be great. Thank you. Yeah, we'll have the, the ten salads and the, the twelve soups every day, and the sandwiches obviously oh, as well. So that's great. That that'll be a great addition. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're excited. Commissioner Sianis. <clears throat> My only comment that I'm going to revisit this drive aisle issue that's on the east side of the building. Um, I don't know that there's a good way to solve that 21 foot width there without removing sidewalk or uh, significant construction. Uh, you can't take much to, to the east there because there's parking already there. Um, did, did engineering have any comments? Or I think the solution is just maintain one-way traffic and then it's adequate 
at 21 feet is adequate. So then would we have to see signage? Yeah, uh, the plan commission would not need to okay. see Okay, engineering would sign off on that? Yes. Okay, that's the only comments I have, thank you. Krishna Sankara. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> I reflect what everyone else says, it looks great and everything. Um, the only thing I have, which is kind of a no-no, is your front entrance. You have labeled stucco all the way down to the ground. And the, it's brick right now. I'd, right. Like to, I'd like to see them work with that and we really don't promote the stucco that much. So if they, they take a look at something like that, I know that's you know, your typical, what you talked about branding your name, but if we could look at that, that's something just a suggestion to look at that. Well, so uh, what, and I understand it, and certainly um, there's always the, the stucco uh, or EFIS or, you know, Especially in this area, like yeah, it, it, Nevada, Arizona, you don't, don't yeah, have to worry right. about that. But so a lot of our stores have blue glass entry features. Okay. So it's a, um, a blue spandrel it's glass stucco. that we wrap, that. we can wrap those columns with so they're not stucco there. It's a, a glass essentially with a kick plate at the bottom so it doesn't get damaged with snow shoveling or, or things of that nature. Okay. But, uh, um, that will present a much kind of more aggressive, I guess, um, feature. So I, mean, I can certainly propose something like that, but um, you know, I don't want to paint the brick. No, 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 no. So, no, so we, no. we want to wrap it with something. Okay. Right. And, oh, so, but we, I mean, we do have a list of materials that we. And we could do something other than stucco too. Like you said, there's I'm sure alternatives that we could do. Okay. The same, uh, like I said, just a suggestion. And also, no, I know you made the comment with the um, windows. You might not go all the way down. And I don't mind seeing them on the sides where there's no seating mm -hmm. to have them down to kind of get the light in there. I would say try to keep them up where the seats are on the front there because obviously our winters are pretty cold. Yeah, right. So. Well, I live in Northfield, so I'm. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I force um, very well. Aware of how cold we are here. So besides that, I you know agree with agree with the parking. There should be no parking. Is it your typical locations? Is it lunchtime busy crowd or you get the dinner crowd? We're about 50-50 lunch and dinner, and we do uh, a fairly significant amount of catering. Um, so it's it's a pretty even mix, especially in communities like Wheeling where you've got a lot of families and, and young kids. Um, it's a good healthy alternative, kind of in that fast casual arena with Potbelly and Chipotle and and you know, the, the pizza guys are coming around now. Um, we've found that, that you know, we can kind of compete with Chipotle and Potbelly for that kind of dinner, that quick dinner business. It's much healthier than your traditional fast food uh, alternative. So, what about any I, do any of your existing locations or anything have, uh, I guess, delivery? Um, we haven't to date, other than on catering orders. Okay. Um, it's just difficult um, to manage. You know, a very busy restaurant and, and do one-off kind of small deliveries. And uh, I know you have a nice, there's a nice, re, I don't call it retirement home. My mom was there <laughs> across the way that I'm sure you get a lot of orders. <laughs> yeah, and, and again, you know, if we could certainly do catering orders, um, the facilities like that. But besides that, I agree, though, with uh, taking a look with, with the landscaping because I know this new stuff, you know, doesn't have landscaping in there. Well, I do think that uh, when we walked through last time with our contractor, the uh, the irrigation system has been turned off. So, yeah. like some of the landscaping is um, <coughs> sleeping, <laughs> resting. But otherwise, yeah, I look forward to it. I think it's a great concept, and I thank I'm you. looking forward to it. So, thank you. So, uh, thank you. So, a couple of things. Um, one, the um, landscaping, Brooke. I, can they come back with a, I mean, we can, we can go through and approve the special use and the zoning variation, but the landscape, I, I think, needs some work, and as you admitted, it, it needs some work, and maybe it's just upgrading, and we can get a, a plan of what's out there right now, and, and they might add things. So can they, <clears throat> can we, uh, uh, you know, vote on this? with the exception of the landscape plan and then come back with a landscape plan on this? I mean, if you want to bring your microphone down so everybody can hear you, <laughs> that would be great. So can I ask, do you want them to add additional plants? Well, 
Well, it's hard to say because we don't have a landscape plan. Well, it was operating as Fifth Third, and I think the landscaping do, does look, um, it looks fairly good considering the okay. building is shuttered. Um, and it hasn't been vacant that long. No, it hasn't been vacant that long. And um, so if you don't think you need additional landscaping, I would hate to have them come back just for an existing landscape plan. However, if... I, again, it, it, sorry to interrupt you, but the, what, again, we're going to spend a significant amount of money. I don't I, want it to look like... No, okay. I, and I, I understand that. I understand that you're spending, you know... You said a million dollars on this, and, and, and that's great. <clears throat> and, but I'm not, my intention is not to hold this up. My intention is to, we've had some comments about the landscaping. He mentioned that the, the irrigation the irrigation isn't working. It has, has been turned off. So we don't know the conditions of it. And normally we would get an inventory of what's there right now. We don't have that. Mm -hmm. We don't have that. So I, I don't understand if we... If we approve this, and we vote on it and we approve it, with the condition that they come back with a landscape plan, I'm not certain that that is going to impede anything that's going to happen in this building or or tearing down the um, tearing down the you know the drive-throughs and and that. So prior to occupancy, they should return. Yeah, for even or can just minor be minor I don't staff. Yeah, I, you know, we we give them temporary occupancy for a sign. We could give them. Tech, yeah. Do you want them to turn to the plan commission for review and approval of the landscape plan, or just submit it? So I guess my thought would be if if they're just going to update the plan to reflect what the actual I, okay. things are existing, that should be able to be submitted to staff. If they're going to make changes to landscaping plan, then you might want to see it. Uh -huh. But if it, all it is is. Just adding the words of what species yep. are out there, but not actually changing it. Right. And that's just making sure our plans reflect the current um, condition. I, I've got to believe if they're spending the money that they're going to spend, they're going to want to improve the landscape plan. That would just that'd be just my crazy guess. If they're going to cut those windows, I guarantee that, that landscaping will get ruined anyways. If they're going to cut the brick out and everything, that landscaping will get destroyed during the construction. Okay. I mean, if they don't and it stays that way, nothing will be damaged. So there's, there's a lot of variables here. So I, I think I would like to see, I think what, and I'm sure if I looked at everybody, they would nod yes, that they would like to see a landscape plan. And it doesn't have to be for occupancy, but, and granted, we're, we're right now in a hot period of time, and we probably won't get anything planted now. And when do you anticipate opening? Uh, it's late fall. Okay, so late fall, you might be able to plant some things, mm -hmm. but you know, you're t I'm talking, you know, you're probably talking spring before they can really do a. And my goodness, if we can't get a, a landscape plan by springtime, um, so I would, I, I think I would hear agreement that we'd like to see a landscape plan come back before us. Are we in agreement there? If it's going to slow down him opening, no. No, and I'm not saying that. I'm saying that if we have one before the spring planting. But they may want to plant before they open. Right. And, and the point is, is that I'm not, I'm not saying that this is required for occupancy. If it's done, if it's done a month after okay. occupancy. So do you want, but do you want to see it before they install the plants? Because... Can we get our building can, permit and, and with staff review? Um, again, if it's if it's dependent upon if it's dependent upon if if you're adding landscaping, it should come before the plan plan commission. Here's what I can do. Can it be part of the sign package? Pardon? Can it be part of the sign package? Um, are you coming back for signs? Are we are you coming back for signs? This there's no sign know. package in here. It should be coming back for signs with actual dimensions. Okay. I, yeah, and, and I don't know. Can I ask how representative is the plan that you saw, Brooke, of what's actually planted there now? The plan that's on file, the approved plan for this piece, 
does not show foundation planting. Oh, okay, that's right. How did that happen? I don't know how that happened. Yeah, we got to have something. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, well, is the, the, the landscape isn't really because the signage is all going to be wall signs, I would assume, which yes. is depicted here. Plus replacing the monument that's on the corner. Yeah, plus replacing the monument on the corner. Um, and the monument on the corner is that's that's a standalone. Yes. That's a standalone. So you, perfect. It's perfect. So what you're going to have is you're going to have a monument sign that's going to require the landscaping around it. And at that point in time, if you have the landscaping around the building, it'd be all one package. The monument signs existing with existing landscaping. If it's a, if if you're satisfied with the existing landscaping and none of it is dead, then it's a it's a moot point. You show it to us and we approve it with the sign and we're done. Well, I mean, like you said, I certainly want to make sure that it's yep. upgraded and it looks good and, and 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 that's all we need. And we need and and it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be planted before you mm -hmm. before you occupy. How about they return for minor site plan? An appearance approval of the landscaping within 90 days of special use approval. Sure. That way That's fine. it doesn't tie up their occupancy, no. it doesn't prevent them from planting in the fall. Right. We could tie it with our our construction drawings. We can get that put together at the same time. That gives them a little bit of flexibility uh, of coming back on their terms. Yeah. But oh. still getting it done this exactly this year. Exactly. If they want I don't to. need to go through the same it would Notice be process. No, it's nope. minor oh, no. site plan and appearance, yep. which means we just need a lead time of like 14 days approximately, no noticing, no public hearing. Yeah, it's much right. more yeah. informal. Okay, yeah. and so this is not impeding any of your construction plans. Nothing. This is like we said, 90 days. And I think we're on the same page. Yes, we are. Yeah. It, yeah. I exactly. just again, right. Procedurally, I was trying to. As simple as we can to satisfy exactly. your needs. Right, because this will go in a couple of weeks to go before the village board and you'll be on your way. Perfect. So Thank that's you. perfect. And turn the irrigation back. Right, yeah. And yeah. Turn your, <laughs> so Just flip the water switch and everything will be. So back um, to the building, you mentioned the peak hours. Um, and, and I think we have to, right now, our, our docket says 118 um, seats with a variation of 11. If you if they happen to reduce that, it's still a variation. So we're going to keep it at 118. If you happen to reduce it, that's it's fine. That's fine. So we don't have to. There's right. there's no need for anything to come back on that. <clears throat> but on the building, you mentioned stucco and what we have here, and I, I completely missed it until Commissioner Zangar mentioned it. We have um, stucco, and the stucco on the 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 uh, ribbon around the building and the top in the middle. I mean, stucco is a fair use there. Mm -hmm. I think where we have the problems is um, coming down around the door, you're going to wrap the brick, which is going to be nice. Um, what happens is at the bottom, it has a tendency to snow and everything. Mm -hmm. it, it disintegrates quicker. Right. So, um, one, we haven't determined the color. So, have you determined a color for this? Uh, it's yeah. It's it'll be a gray. We we so if you look at the building, the 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 top, the top piece along the existing fifth third building is is concrete. Right. Yeah. And so it, we'll cover that. Because obviously we're not going to paint the concrete and, right. and another. So it'll be thing. it'll. This is a pretty good representation of the color. It'll be an off gray, a mm -hmm. um, okay. light gray, excuse me, and then with some accents. Again, we don't want it to be too monotone. That's why we put the accents in again to follow where the accents currently exist in the building, um, and where that soffit. Again, you can see the top of the picture uh, of the fifth third building is radiused. We will just bring it down and square <coughs> off again to give. Yes. It, it, the radius works there with the radius feature at the top of the fifth third bank, right above the door. Uh -huh. But once we square that off to have that radius would be odd. So we want to try to keep it uniform. Um, we have no problem working with, you know, Brooke and the staff to find alternative materials to the stucco um, on those columns. Um, 
and typically in the cold weather climates in Minnesota, we've added a stainless kick plate at the bottom so that it uh, it doesn't get damaged uh, with the snow shovels and. and so are, are are we okay with uh, on that on the columns having them work with staff? Mm -hmm. Commissioner Zangara, Commissioner yeah. Sienis, Commissioner Dorban. As a condition. Yes. 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 Okay. So then, uh, um, Brooke, can you bring up uh, a picture? Another picture, uh, uh, actual picture of the building as it sits right now. Yep. Okay. So the band there, are are you wrapping that band? We will match. Yeah, we want the colors to be uniform. So you're going to wrap that. So we're going to yes. wrap those bands. Okay. Uh, I'm okay with that. That's cool. Um, and I assume you're going to clean the brick because right you, there's a picture there. The salt is coming out of yep. the. Excellent. Um, Does anybody else have any other comments? One thing, what about trash enclosure? It's, it it's was right on, there. Um, it there's, was on there's the, an existing um, trash enclosure. Okay. Yeah. An, another reason why spaces 42 and 43 should be left open. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is that a typical color scheme for, for your buildings? I was just kind of curious. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, um, And there's nothing wrong. I just was kind of curious. Yeah, um, it's a sharp-looking color scheme. So I'll, I can. Those are a couple. Oh. You can scroll through that. Oh, very nice. You might not get the iPad back, but that's good. <laughs> okay. Um, do we have any other comments? No. No. Is it in here, the, your hours? I know you're, oh, I was in there because yeah. you're closed on Sunday. Yes. Sir? Yes. Thank you. Um, you know, and, and I know your, your peak hours are lunch and dinner, and I, Commissioner Dorban mentioned that, um, that, you know, the other stores, but you actually, there are a number of eateries there because you've got Chipotle, you've got Potbelly, you've got Fridays, and I assume they all have the same type of peak hours. Yes. So... But as Commissioner Dorban said, you know, it's going to take care of itself. <clears throat> but my question is probably to staff, and, and the petitioner made the comment that if it was a standalone building, they would have enough parking. I, I don't quite understand that. <clears throat> is it how we do our calculations yes, in this because fine, in our village? And what you've given away in the shared. Okay, got it. Right. My understanding is Cafe Zupa's is a tenant. And it has one lease area. Got it. Okay, that's right. I of remember that. Of a greater yeah. shopping center. Yeah. Okay. Great. I think it's going to be a great addition to the village, and you've got a great corner, and it's going to be, it's going to be good. Well, we're excited about it. You know, yeah. the, the branding opportunity for us, the visibility on Lake Cook Road, and yeah, um, it's, it's you know, and, and you know, ironically, I used to run development for uh, Potbelly, so I did that Potbelly deal. So, oh. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that Wheeling is fed. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do with the safe inside the building? Is there a safe? Uh, we're, we've got a company that's going to come and, and take it out. They're not easy to get out. They're oh, not I can imagine. expensive to get out. <laughs> I can imagine because they probably built around those darn things. Yes, there's so, concrete okay. on top and on the and, side. And I just keep, it keeps on, it keeps on, things keep on twirling in my head. But, you know, this, the picture that I have up here displays, um, displays the uh, windows going down. Uh, but you, you indicated that there's no decision there. So do we have to, is that something that we need to be concerned with? We can add a condition that would allow them to extend the windows to grade or maintain them as existing. Okay, that's fine. But if they, I gotta tell you, to Commissioner Zangara, if they put them down to grade, we're going to need to see a landscape plan because th that's going to be right. But well, we I have to present a landscape plan, right? Anyway. Exactly. So that by by that time, and so we'll have another that. reason why we need it. Great. That decision will be made with Great. the windows. Excellent. Fantastic. So um, I assume we have the variations in the special use, correct? I mean the conditions and the yes. Okay. So let's um, let's do. Um, there's nothing in the vari zoning uh, variations. Or no. Conditions? 
Okay, I didn't think so. So do I hear a motion on 2016-13A, Title 19 zoning? So motion. Still moved. Oh, oh, all right. We had a motion by, I heard Commissioner Dorban, second by Commissioner Isaku, Mr. Secretary. Commissioner Dorban. Yes. Commissioner Saku. Yes. Commissioner Johnson. Yes. Commissioner Powers. Yes. yes. Commissioner Sienis. Yes. Commissioner Zangara. Yes. Chairman Rafato. Yes. Brooke, the um, conditions on the special use. Number one, parking stall numbers 42 and 43 shall be striped to prevent parking. The drive on the east side of the building shall be posted as a fire lane and for one-way traffic only. Within 90 days of special use approval, the petitioner shall return to the plan commission for minor site plan and appearance approval of a landscape plan. And Edgar, I'll give you a copy of this. You don't have to write it all down. Yeah, you don't have to write it. Yeah. Uh, number, number four, the bike rack shall be relocated to a location with enough room to accommodate bike parking. Five, the stucco color shall be light gray. Number six, the stucco proposed at grade shall be replaced with a more durable material. And finally, the windows may extend to grade or may remain at their existing location. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Yes. I'm sorry. I missed Mr. It. Chairman. Yes. Which way is the one way go now from north to south? That's the exit for the drive through, I take it. I, I don't know. Or is that the entrance it's going the entrance into it? Drive -through. So, <clears throat> so they went they, they went around the building and because you, went you up need the way. ATM on the left side of the car, so makes sense. You would drive from south to north through the driveway. Yeah. Oh. Is that how it was set up? Okay. I, yeah. I never went there. It's so. Probably it. <laughs> south to north. Yes. Okay. Um, do we have to? Specify which way the one way is? No. Okay. We can work with the petitioner on, on I'm, I'm the thinking village engineer. You might want the other direction. Yeah, actually, you know, we'll look at it, uh, see, you know, because you've, you've got, you can't access the shop. No, you probably would want the same way. You'd want yeah, to go you past the front the of the building. Going south on, way, on Whelan, because um, it's a right in, right out only. Yeah. So looking at how traffic would go in there. Okay. You ready for that? Motion approved with the conditions. So moved. Second. Uh, motion was made uh, by Commissioner Dorban, second by Commissioner Johnson. Mr. Secretary. Commissioner Dorban. Yes. Commissioner Johnson. Yes. Commissioner Saku. Yes. Commissioner Powers. Yes. Commissioner Sienas. Yes. Commissioner Zangaro. Yes. Chairman Rafael. Yes. Congratulations and welcome. Thank you very much. Well, we are just a recommending board. It's got to come before. It's got to go before the village board. You'll have something to sign. Two things to sign. At least this uh, location will be close to home. Yes. <laughs> that helps a lot, doesn't it? So, do you have both Schomburg and Sch and Wheeling will be yours, or are they? Well, no, we're, they're all company restaurants. Oh, they're all. They're all company restaurants. I have developed for Kathy Azuplas, and so I travel around the country and identify sites for the planning meetings and Well, I'm certainly glad you picked this one. So if you could sign those two. And then, yeah. We think it's going to be a great, uh, great opportunity for us. Yeah, looking through the menu makes me really hungry. <laughs> yes, both of those. He doesn't need to sign his own, does he? No. Yeah. Yep. Okay. One variation on special use. Yep. One variation on special use. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good luck, and we look forward to a uh, grand opening. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great, thank you. Motion to close. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Number eight, approval of minutes, June 23rd, 2016. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Other business? I have nothing. All right. Commissioner Zangara. Um, I have a, a question, I guess. Um, I saw the new town center sign. 
And I see it's what, CMX, the VP, VIP cinema. We approved a town center plan. Does it have to come back to us now that, I guess, I can, taking it, Flix is no longer coming? They have to still return to the plan commission for final plan develop, plan unit development approval. That's regardless of who the tenant okay. is. Okay. Thank you. And then uh, just happy birthday to our chairman. Thank you. Oh, oh, nice. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jim. Thank you very much. That's all. Commissioner Sianis. I have no other business tonight. Thank you. Commissioner Dorbin. I have nothing. Thank you. Commissioner Powers. I have nothing. Commissioner Isaku. Nothing, thanks. And Commissioner Johnson. Yeah, Commissioner Zangara stole my thunder. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you all for the birthday wishes. Um, I appreciate it. Um, Commissioner Saku, again, I want to tell you that, you know, there's continue to ask your questions and don't rely on us to think we're going to answer the questions uh, because we sometimes don't. And that's why we're here to ensure that we cover everything that we might miss. Like today, <laughs> which is stucco. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I missed, I missed the so stucco. We missed the stucco to be determined. So you know, the landscaping is important. As a matter of fact, I think I, I brought it up to Brooke uh, earlier in an email. And <clears throat> in addition, one last thing: uh, the uh, Alandra um, bakery sign. You know, we took it off consent, and there were a number of questions on that. But it's imperative, it's imperative that we, as a commission, if you have a question about something that's on the consent agenda, please send it to Brooke and I. And if you feel strongly about it, and we feel strongly about it, I feel strongly about it, we will take it off of the consent agenda. Like today on, on the bakery sign, <clears throat> We actually only, I think, only had one official comment about the number two graphic. But as it turns out, there were probably three people that really didn't like it, three commissioners that didn't like it. And that could have just gone by the wayside if we, if we hadn't taken it off the agenda and uh, taken it off consent. So I encourage everybody, anybody, if you have a question about one of the consent agenda signs, please bring it up to Brooke and I. And if we feel strongly about it, we'll take it off. And as you can see, we, we got something done on that one. So, Mallory, anything? Nothing. Motion to adjourn. So moved. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, you made the motion. Yeah, I made the motion.